is our tickets. Our tickets for the raffle tonight. Hopefully we win something. I never win, so I got good luck. Nope, <clears throat> Timmy did not win the raffle. I have horrible luck, so I never win raffles, but I went into it knowing that was probably gonna be the outcome. But dude, they were giving away a full set of BFG tires. I, to any guy, that is gotta be the greatest win ever. I was really hoping for that one. I didn't get it, but it was somewhat close. But anyways, it was the raffle at the Genesis Supreme RV Camp Genesis event that they hold out in Glamis alongside with the Clean Dune Project um, where they clean up the dunes. So we did that in the first video. You guys are here to watch the second half, which is the nightlife of that. In the first video, we went out, we picked up trash. We found some really cool stuff out in Glamis. So if you didn't see that video, go down to my channel and find it. It's called Cleaning Up Glamis. Anyways, this video here is uh the raffle at night and a lot of good people won some really cool stuff i was happy to see them win um and then after that is brian crane comes on talks about the clean dune project and then uh pablo carmona comes on he's the owner of genesis supreme rv and he gives his testimony you know all about his getting the Genesis RV started and you know what he was going through um, and how hard he works I mean he made it very clear that he is working hard to make our trailers even better I have a Genesis Supreme RV and I love it I have a fifth wheel I have a 3817 V and I love it he did a great job in designing this it's held up for a number of years I've had it it's fairly new but He's a great guy and he gives his testimony in this video, so stick around for that. And then if you guys make it all the way to the end of the video, I got a sweet tour of the the trailer that they used for the raffle and the stage and everything, the way the side comes down. And I go up in there, I sneak in there, nobody sees me. I get you guys some good footage. So that's at the end of this video. So stick around for that. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get to the video. My name is Brian Crane. Uh, and I, Brian Crane from Glamis Veterans. I also I'll get it on film. One of the founders of the Clean Doom Project was a new nonprofit coming on board, and uh, we've been able to host this year with the power of Genesis Supreme RV. So can we get a big round of applause for Genesis Supreme? I'll tell you, Pablo and crew are top notch knocking it out of the park. They've got a great product, but what's more important is that they're great people. And as soon as they found out what was going down, they said, how can we help? And they came in big. They came in really big. You're gonna get to hear a little bit about the story. You're gonna get to hear a list of sponsors. You're gonna get to hear how many man hours, we're, I mean, the, the calculators are still burning up. We're replacing batteries, trying to tabulate the number of man hours and the tonnage of trash that was hauled out. And we want to thank you for that. So, without further ado, again, there are uh, five founders to the Clean Doom Project. Myself, Brian Crane. we we'll go down the row here. John Parleski from uh, Dune and Destroy. Uh, Brian Myers from Sand Asylum. Cameron Murray with Inwips. Is Nick Farmer with Desawips. <laughs> Together, the five of us are the Clean Dune Project. We'll be a new nonprofit. We're going to have a presence not just for MLK, but all season long out here to help support you and your efforts to help maintain our right to ride, to work tirelessly with industry partners like Genesis Supreme and the incredible sponsors and donors that help provide this product to raffle off to all you amazing people. We're also working with our land managers for our public lands. This is not their land, right. our land. We're gonna get to the Americans raffle. Hang on a second. Where you're sitting right now. Genesis. I'm, uh, I wanna 
share a little bit things with you guys and girls and boys and everybody. I don't want to bore you, but I want to you know a little bit, bit a little bit what I do. So I had a passion for the RVs. Uh, when I started this business, we started with six people. It was hard, yes, of course. But when you had a passion to do something, to be success, don't give up. You know, I come from a country with no shoes, no nothing. I don't have nothing. I don't speak any English. Still, I don't speak, but I try, right? I go only to sixth grade in Mexico. I never go to school right here in the United States. I learn everything and work with people. And because I have the, the passion to be success, and I think we all of us can do that. We want to do things to help other people. I have the passion to help my employees I appreciate with all my vendors, my dealers. I have, I partner with all, all and everybody. Really, is a good, good people. And I'm always worried to make sure all my employees working for at least 40 hours a day, so they can get a paycheck every week. So we started, like I say, with six employees. Right now, we have a close to 300 employees. So we support all those family places. Vendors have employees, so I'm always looking to design something new to keep up attention, to get motivation. And like again, all my employees are dependent and they're working hard for us. And uh, all my family always is right there to support me. That's the most important. The family always there to support me. So, I want to thank everybody, and I'm gonna continue the working hard, build good products, good service, and continue to do a good job for you guys. Thank you. Awesome, my name's Emerson, I'm with Genesis Supreme. We wanna thank you guys all for coming out and hanging out with us. We're gonna get started with the raffle, but before we do, we need to pay some bills. So first and foremost, I want to thank Rolly White for hosting and, and providing the food tonight. Give a round of, a, of applause for Rolly White. <laughs> Secondly, we also want to give a round of applause for Desert RV for hosting our cornhole tournament today. <laughs> and lastly, we also want to thank our friends over at Marjan RV for providing some drinks today as well. So thank you guys very much. Let's go ahead and get started with the raffle. We're gonna start off with the kids' prizes. We're gonna let Pablo take care of that. So all you kids. One uh, Before we do this, we have one more thing. For everybody's events or uh, efforts today, we calculated everybody who at least signed the logbook. Uh, we averaged how many hours we think everybody put in or at least hoped some did fill it in. Today alone, we had Roughly 623 people signed the logbook. So we thank you for your, your, your time coming out here. We realize it's expensive. We want you to spend it with your family. We want you to be in the dunes, but we also want to give back to Glamis that gives us the ability to do all of this. And we roughly had 1,923 volunteer hours today alone. So with that, that's going to help us Keep Glamis open, keep Glamis clean, and uh, allow all of us the, the ability to ride in a, in a fun, safe environment. So thank you to everybody who pitched in. We filled the dumpster, we overfilled the dumpster, and we took trash to the blue dumpsters on Wash Road. So thank you to everybody who, who helped with that. And one more thing. All right, and to continue to keep this growing, I just want to have you guys all, while we're doing the raffle, pull out your phones, give a follow on social media, on, on Instagram and Facebook, The Clean Dune Project and Genesis Supreme RV. We appreciate it, let's get started.
check out this yeah, kid. Yeah, this is only kid. This guy won it. Only kid. Look at this guy. Take it. Oh, he's stuck. Isn't that cool? Bless you. Ryan. He's coming. This is the best part of the raffle. This is the kid. Here he is. Okay, the next one. Fire stick uh, TV. That is so cool. These kids are so pumped. Look at this guy over here. The number He's got his thing. He got his prize right there. Seven nine. One seven nine. 35 inch tires. Zero. Three. No. Eight. Seven. Zero. Dang it. Alright, let's go check out the nightlife over here. They got a lot of music playing, so it's gonna be copyrighted. But let's check it out. with them man that was really awesome they're packing out all their stuff i want to go over and check out this red trailer you guys want to check it out this thing this is the party trailer let me show you look at this trailer this is the ultimate party trailer right here look at this wow this is a big system i don't even know what all this stuff is wow some nice lithium batteries, sound equipment. Look at that, all those batteries in there, this is all empty. Super nice, look at this. The side of this thing folds down right here. And this is the stage. This is where they did their raffle. Pretty awesome, look at that. That's a lot of hinges holding that thing on. Then they got these little jacks here. There you go. Pretty sweet, they just got it on these cables. Got all the lights up top. Little jacks here. Pretty cool trailer. It's got the back door, flips down. pretty neat inside I think they were gonna put all TVs inside of there that's what he was telling me he's inside of this little thing they were gonna fill out with TVs but that never that didn't happen the Supercross party did not happen but that would have been pretty cool there's the back side of it peek inside here. 
He's got a little fridge. Pretty neat. Got the full sound system. So it looks like they got a little AC unit going up there. Got all this flip out, this folds out. Makes a big thing all the way around there and this is all the open area. I mean, you could have a, this could be a dance floor. This is pretty cool. And here's all this, they got a little mini fridge. And then up in here, they got just a little, little hangout, little office area. Check that out, man. Where do you buy a trailer like this? You don't. This is just a hangout trailer. Pretty sweet. Brings these little flat, little pieces of wood, keeps yeah. jacks from going under the ground. It's a good idea. Then when you're done with them, you can just throw them in the fire. You forgot to put them under there. I know. Well, what happened? Big play. Ah. Oh. Yeah, it sounds. Ah, oh, well, it wasn't too windy, so it's not a big deal. But sometimes when the wind blows, it'll strip out underneath these like that real easy. I've had to dig my trailer out like that before on the front. Mm -hmm. Dig around that till they go down to get it on my truck. Because I have problems with my jacks once in a while. Yeah, but this jack the real good. Because... The levelers. Yeah. yeah. Like the other one. Pretty sweet. Love this trailer. This wouldn't work for camping, but sure would work for partying. Yep. There it is. Look at that setup. Awesome. Cause they got they got a little custom unit. I think this is one of one of the families here. It's a little custom camping unit. They like GMCs. This is all the owner and his family from Genesis RV. I want to ask all you guys out there that are RV and, and full-time RVers or camping or whatever, how many of you have camped with the owner of the trailer manufacturer? I did. Hung out with him. It was a great time. Look at all that wood we burned. That's just ashes. Crazy. It was a giant pile of wood. Had a great time here with Genesis. All right, we're packing up here. Getting everything loaded. So this is a super cheap, super quick weekend. And that's tight. Just double checking. But a lot of you guys ask me, how in the world do you get there? Yeah, I spilled some diesel, sorry. This is how I get here and back, pretty much without stopping. Is I bring 15 gallons, um, and I and it gets me all the way to Glamis, and then I just fill it up, and then that gets me all the way home, and I don't have to stop once. So that's what makes these cheap these weekends so cheap for me. Is uh, I spend the money when I leave the house, and then that's it. It's just cash from there on out. So that's how I do it. Just my little way. Can't do that when you're road tripping though. You gotta take a credit card or something, ATM. But anyways, there's my little secret. Get yourself a little tank, then you don't have to stop and it makes these trips so much quicker. So, tip of the day. Wow, what an amazing, cool weekend that was. We got to pick up some trash in the dunes. It's been a while since I spent some real time picking up trash, like hours. And actually, it was very gratifying. Driving slow through the dunes was actually really nice. Looking down, taking a look at the trees and the wildlife and the, the just the overall scene was pretty cool. And I got to see that while I was out picking up the trash. So I was stoked on that. Um, had a great time. Thank you, Genesis, 
Supreme RV for letting us come stay at your camp. Barge in, even though we didn't know you guys, but it was great to get to know you. Pablo, it was good to get to know you, buddy. You're a great guy, and I got a lot of respect for you. You've done a good job. You really show the American way. And that's what this channel stands for. So, that being said, I met a lot of awesome people. And also, I met some subscribers. I met some of you guys that watch this channel. And I, I think that's pretty cool. I got to m meet you guys and find out your personalities. And that way, and honestly, it helps me make better content for you guys. Because I'm able to, you know, I, I am doing the things that I love to do, which most of you guys love to do also, but it just, it helps me when I get to know you guys. So I want to encourage anybody that happens to see my car or see my family, my wife or me or any of us, or even anybody with one of these shirts, go up and say hi, make friends with them because you know what? Friends, friendships and relationships and things like that are just worth gold. So Come up and say hi. Don't be too shy. Some people, you know, oh, I didn't want to go up and say anything. I didn't want to bother you. Come over and bother me, man. I met a guy who came right to my trailer at like 11 at night. He was walking by and I got to talking, found out he was a subscriber. I found out he he actually was one of the people that have given to this channel, as some people do. And man, I really appreciate you guys. It's not even about the money. It's totally about the thought that you guys thought enough to do that. And I take that to heart and I'm really trying my best to push this channel to do something good in the world. So that little bits of encouragement like that are amazing. I'm not going to name any names because all you guys, you know who you are if you're watching this. And, you know, I really care about you guys and I really appreciate your encouragement. I really appreciate you guys watching and I hope you enjoyed that. If you didn't see the first one when we were picking up the trash, me and me and Christine, uh, go back, go down to my channel. Check that out. It's called Cleaning Up Glamis. It's my only cleanup video. So go check it out. And thanks for watching. Make sure you like uh, these these things that helps me with the algorithm or the audience algorithm thing. And uh, if you wanna be friends with the channel, just click the subscribe. That means you're a member of this channel at this point. And I'm gonna treat you like a member. So click the subscribe, you'll, you'll get to see every video that comes out. I really appreciate that. We're just a small little channel just starting out, but we're going to the top, baby. And we're gonna make a difference in the world is what we're gonna do. So. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you out in the sand.